Welcome to Road Ventures Hawaii. I'm Nick Morris. This is what we do. Like and subscribe, boys. What is up, my adventure crew? Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. If it's your first time here, welcome aboard. If you're coming back, welcome back aboard. Today we're gonna go uh, Honolulu fishing, but I don't have a poor reel, so I came to world famous Roy's Fishing Supply in the heart of Aia. We're going there, get a poor reel, and we're gonna try to do some Honolulu fishing for this next episode. So we'll see. Hopefully we can get some Honolulu action. I can do it from the boat, never from shore, so we'll find out. So we're looking for a thousand series reel. So this is a Daiwa. It's kind of nice, but I'm a Shimano fan, so. I like the, the Stratic, but it's kind of expensive for something I'm not going to do too often. So they have the, the Nasi Shimano. It's on sale for 55 bucks, and this one's on sale for 85 dollars for the Shimano. So we'll go with the Shimano, and now we have to find a pole for it. I'll go, I'll go with the Shimano, right? Okay. So most of the time you want a shorter pole, this is a 5.5 five and it's super soft. It's a Claws, I think that's how you pronounce it, Shimano. It's rated for one to four pound test. So we're gonna put four pound tests on there on the main line. So this should definitely work. We'll get this ball, short, 5.5. Five. So we're gonna put four carbon line for the main line. We're going to J line, J line makes good stuff. Four pound test. 14.95, we're gonna have Royce pull up the reel for us. The reel should hold 140 yards. It is 300 yards, so we'll have more than enough extra. The smaller the swivel, the better. And they're pretty much out. Everybody's out of everything now because it's COVID, but with the Izuvo, the size six. Very, very small swivel, so that should work. Some MZ Gold 14 hooks. That should be it. All right, here we go, my adventure crew. We got the Owama Slayer with us, my neighbor, John. Yes, sir. I got my Halu pole. Says to teach me how to fish today. I got our wama pole. Set ready to go. So we're gonna see what we can catch today. Some halu, some wama. Maybe we have extra wama. We'll turn it into a, a day wama trip tomorrow. We will see. All right, let's get in the water and let's see what we can do with our, our poles. Just got here. These little kids said they watch YouTube, so I was like, ah, oh, check them out. What you guys got? So what you guys got so far? Just the wama. Uh, yeah. We keep on losing them. Cause... So you guys have to turn them off for live bait. Yeah. They turn them off for live bait. Something keeps biting them in half. They said. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of wama in there. Yeah, that's right. You have to put new water and catch new ones then. We will. That's what we're doing. We're What's doing your guys' names? Oh, Ashton. Ashton, Lincoln. Owen. Owen. Okay. I'll put you guys in my video now, okay, this week. Okay. Yeah. Okay? Alright, thanks guys. I'm trying to catch the warm and all. Paul's right here in front, small pile. Oh, missed him. Me and the Oama Slayer right here. Yes, sir. Oama Slayer didn't work. Two. So the wama's all down there by in front of those people right now. We're trying to get the wama to come over here. We have to have come swim back. But oh, they're coming back now, Jonathan. There we go. Got him. <laughs> that one fell off right there. He fell off right there. <laughs> Pretty much just kind of fishing, just putting down like count to three, like one, two, three, and just lifting. Kind of like you can't really see them too good because of swell. Reaction bite though. Check it the reaction bite. There we go. Looks like we're gonna do some Oama and Papil fishing later on this week. I should be able to keep them alive for like three, four days, maybe five days, so we'll see. We're right there. And the gill plate. Everybody having fun. The kids, the adults, everybody. You know, Wama fishing is good for everybody. Your young kids, everybody. Right there, they came back, Jonathan. Small piles. Only by September, the piles really start showing up. It's still kind of early. Just one more. Oops. Yeah, good pair of glasses for just kind of fishing. So you can cut through the water so you can see the fish because the fish aren't here you're trying to drop, you're not gonna catch nothing, you gotta be able to see them. So I highly suggest a guy like me, costas to me are the best for the beach environment fishing by far on the boat from shore. So I use costas. Super good product. They're a little pricey, but you know what? For the money, can't beat them. 
I mean, Tyler wears Custas. Big part in front of the stall, Jonathan. Oh, nice one. <laughs> Good going. That's a big one. Nice one. You gonna keep it or you can throw it back? You swallowed the hook. <laughs> it was kind of wama fishing. We're just using four pound test. But I think it's size number 14 hook. It's a super small hook. Tiny, tiny hook. With a couple split shot lead. The split shot lead depends how strong the current is if you have to get to the bottom. Hurry up, I gotta see you guys catch something. Not catch each other. <laughs> it wasn't hook you. Oh, nice one. There it is. Kikarawama, awesome. You're, you're out catching me now. The little boy's catching more in Munich. Yeah, he is. <laughs> That's sad. So he's gonna be the new. He's gonna be the new co-host of Real Adventures right there. He, he I'm just gonna, gonna videotape him. He has more action than me. He might just be the master of almost Slayer. <laughs> What's your name? Huh? What's your name? Kikai. What? Kikai. Kikai. Okay. All right. So Kikai's Kikai, the new. Kikai, the, the, the master of almost Slayer. Yeah. You can't want to catch Halalu, but might as well stay the Wama because the Halalu pile is way out. Some guys keep bombing Len and scaring them more far out, so it's gonna make it a little harder. So we're just gonna keep bombing the Wama. See what happens. I don't know what time it is. What time is it, Jonathan? Like really six? Know. Six maybe? I don't know. Sun's still up, so. Yeah, sun's still up, so we still got a chance. We did? One more. I used a dozen for tomorrow morning. I gotta work afternoon, so I need a dozen for the morning. Yeah, another one for light beat. Oh, there you go. That makes it easy. That makes it easy when they when they de-hook themselves. No way. Another one. And these taste excellent fried. Fried guys whole. Oh my god. But they make the best light beat ever for short fishing. So preferably, I like to use them for light for shore fishing. Oh! Come on, you gotta see it, dude. Waiting for you. We need to. We need to make a show here. We need you to catch some because I ain't catching any. Oh! I'm slappy with them. Another one. Oh my god! I want at least a dozen. A dozen I can keep alive for a few days. I don't know what number this is. We'll see. We'll do a con after this. There we go. I got like, let's see. Put some sand there. I got at least a dozen. At least a dozen. There's at least a dozen there. I'm happy with that. That should be more enough for tomorrow or the next day. A couple more and after this, we'll try to get some hot loose so we can fry them up for dinner. I think I can go home now, Nick. Yeah, go home then, because you gotta walk home, you're right with me. Ooh. I have enough light beater, I think. Oh my god, I'm waiting for you, dude. I'm waiting for you, everybody's waiting for you, everybody's watching, you're not waiting. Oh, there it is. Last one, call that it. From here, let's go get some halu now, or try our hand at it. I get enough, Jonathan, I, get, I think I get like over a dozen. There's not much of a cast at this pole. Oh, do you let him sink for a little while? Huh? You let him sink for a little while? Yeah, let him sink. Oh, there we go, we on. We on. Cool, this is Barry and Akus at the buoy. This is Barry and Akus at the buoy with light tackle. <laughs> This is what we're after right here. Double, double. 
Baby Hallelujah. The Capanella Blood one. Baby Hallelujah. Baby Skipjack. And that's Skipjack. Baby, uh, they're called Googly Eyes or whatever else you guys call them. Oh, doubles. Right here. Right here. Okay, a small, small deer like this. It's easy to get tangled. My first halu ever whipping. What happened? They had one. Oh, there we go. Got him. Got him on. Long leaders and fish like this. Got him on. Got him on. Sun's going down. We got a beautiful sunset. I only got two so far. But like I said, it's my first time Halloween fishing, so. Tangled mess over here at this Halloween fishing. The leaders are so small, everything just wants to get tangled. Check that out. Put myself. I hooked myself in the leg. I hooked myself in a pant leg. I ain't trying to get hooked again. <laughs> that hooked me in my leg when I was <laughs> I went back on wild fishing, less dangerous. Uh, the Halu and Dakao, and I got nothing but tangles over here. This two pound test BS is nothing but tangles. I think I have to stretch my lines before I come. When you stretch your lines, it makes it harder for you to get kinked. And I think there's too much. If you're not stretching your lines, I think it's all kinked up. Oh! Oh, that's little. You should let him go. With light tackle. Look at this. I'll put, you up, I'll put up on my video. Yeah, put him on there. With light tackle, look at this guy. He's like two pound test leader. And look at that. Dozer. Nice. He walked all the way down the beach with it. <laughs> See, let him go. Oh, yeah, he's good. Oh, he's good. Tag and release. I caught two. I caught two. I got kind of knots in my line. I kind of <laughs> oh yeah. I don't care. They're just mad at Mickey. Oh, see, because of you guys. You guys over here talking me down over here. See this? You have to do it. Dude, I'll take a one pound of coolie. You saw how big it was? <laughs> Guys like you with your negative content, see? Oh, I got him. He's on. Got him on. Oh, this is a dozer right here. This is a dozer right here. Oh. Ah, oh, he just came off. Oh, yeah. My drag is a little too tight, I think. Got him, he's on. Oh, yes, sir. I don't want to fight the Bavio. Are you the Bavio? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want that to happen to me. <laughs> the Bavio's are chasing us, so you gotta help me get them in. Oh, right there. Nice. Nice. John, here's your bucket up. Find your blood worm, cut them in half, baby. That's a trick. Cut them in half. I'll go right here at the puppy on his on his on his three pound test. That's a fight. Slow retrieve for the tip low is what I learned so far. I only got three though, so I don't want any advice from over here.
Oh, got him. Uncle's still all the way down there. Fight him. All the way down there. But I just got another one on. It's late afternoon bite right there. This is good fun. I might not be the best guy at this, but I tell you what, this is good fun fishing right here. Small pole like this, light pole, bring a little kid out here, shh, you have a good time. I heard about Damien today, but with Damien out here, he has no patience. He was like, would have been over in like two minutes. I want to go home. <laughs> so, just me and the Owama Slayer. Nice. It's number four. Number four, right there. Big eye scad. Little one, but that's a big eye scad. Okay, that's four. Oh, small ultra light tackle is. They fight good. Yeah, with the light ultra light tackles, good fun. There's a dead hollow right here. A dead hollow right there in the water. Oh, got him on. Oh, got him on. It's a dozer for sure. Soft flip, soft flip. So, I guess this is bonus footage for Friday for you guys. Cause, oh, it's number five. Oh look, you got him! Three pound test! That's a good pound apple for your palm, yeah? Not bad! <laughs> okay, we got five. Let's try to get a few more. This is good fun. This is good fun right here. Small pole ultralight. It's not about the size of the fish that crew thinks. Crew's like, this is boring. It's too small to fish. It's about the big fish crew. It's about the small fish. It's about the fight. Oh, there is. Oh, yes. <laughs> you get there for two nights now. At six. Okay, see you later. Slow retrieve. Oh, got him on. Got him on, baby. Ultra light. This is good. To, this is good stuff right there. Sun's going down already. This is good fun. You can buy a cheap set to this for like me, like 40 bucks. Good fun stuff right there. Seven. Oh, got him on. Got him on. Got him on. Number eight. Number eight. Mighty's gonna stand next to your bucket. Oh, got him on. Oh, I missed him. Got him. Nice. Look at that sunset. Beautiful. That's a beautiful sunset right there. Tell you what, this can't be more beautiful. It's fishing, catching, catching a nice, a nice lunch for Damien for tomorrow. Beautiful sunset. This is what Hawaii is all about right here, baby. Number nine. Friday's up. Just got him and skill him. Mine is all in the sand next to your bucket. I, in the bucket. I just threw one more in the sand. Why, you gonna leave it 
No, just so I don't have to walk out. I don't get tangled, that's why. My luck, I'll tangle everything. Oh, Brookline. Shit. Oh, I just broke line. Can't believe I just broke line. It's gonna be too late for me to retie before I gotta go. We'll get him. Oh, got him on. Got him on. He's on. Got him on. <laughs> There it is, there it is, there it is. Small little french fry. Nice. Fry them up crispy. Oh my god, unbelievable. You know what? Stay tuned for the end of this. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you guys a catch cook with this real fast. And then we'll show you the Owama stuff for tomorrow. Okay, so Friday bonus content. See you tomorrow for the Owama stuff. And here's the catch cook with the, the halu. I don't know, this video might be all over the place. But here's the catch cook with the halu. Fry them crispy. Oh my god. Oh. All right, everybody. Okay, we're back at home. I got the hallelujah. Hallelu I told the kids hallelujah. They're like hallelujah. Make us the hallelujah. So I got the the hallelu for the kids. Not very many. Not very many. But enough for a meal for two little kids. A five year old, no way. Though. A seven year old and a five year old. Enough for a seven year old and a five year old. So we're gonna meet a friend for lunch. We'll we'll speed wrap through these this cleaning. Just scaling mostly. Just scaling. I forgot I like the scale, but I like the scale this time. We'll try the scale again. Okay, so we got them all done up. All cut up, ready to go. I'm gonna heat up the oil on the fire. If you haven't done so already, Give the video a thumbs up. Save the dolphin right there. We gotta save more dolphins. If you haven't yet subscribed yet, give us a subscribe. Every time you subscribe or hit a like, it saves dolphins, okay? You a like, hit a subscribe, you save two dolphins. Unsubscribe, subscribe again, save another dolphin. Unsubscribe, you know what I mean? You, you know, you get the idea about it. You know, don't hit unsubscribe. Actually, don't, don't unsubscribe. Just subscribe. All right, here we go. I'm gonna heat up the oil and then we'll fire them up real fast and then we'll do the taster choice. We'll see exactly what the little, those little guys in the house say about it. Okay, so it's Hallelulu time. Hallelu time. Small fish are small. I think parts of the world like Florida, you guys call them googly eyes. We call them akuli when they're big, but they're small to Hallelu. Or fry these guys up. I got my oil at 320 degrees, and it's time to start frying. Oh. That's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. I'm gonna fry these up and I'll take you in the house and I'll show you the kids enjoying their hallelulu. <laughs> it's hallelu, but I told them it's hallelulu. So let's see, let's see how they pronounce it. It's the kids' ultimate tasters chance. See it, Damien. So what kind of fish is this? I don't know. Hallelulu. Mm. How good is it? Crunchy? So Damien, what'd you rate it? How good is it? Very good. Would you like daddy to catch it again? Yeah. It's crunchy? Uh -huh. Sorry, the camera. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. What's these like? Good. It's good? More. It's good? All right. Well, you heard it from the kids first. It's good. So let's say we're going to be doing more Hallelulu fishing, right, Alicia? Because the kids like it so much, right? She said she gets so. Plan worked. Plan worked. All right, everybody. You like Hallelulu? You're so white. You're so white. See, my name's Lincoln. <laughs> so it's about, ah, it's early 7.30. Sun is going down. First time really whipping for Hallelu. Thanks for Jonathan's advice. And crew and the rest of the guys are doing nothing but giving me BS about it. I got nine. It's not too bad. At least a dozen. A dozen Awama. So. Gotta teach this guy sometimes, <laughs> huh? <laughs> so good fun. Good. Super good fun. I'll try to tackle. So this is just a bonus video. I know it's Friday. Uh, tomorrow's video is going to come out. Well, not tomorrow. Saturday's video is come out. We're going to take those Owama and we're going to do something special with them. So, see you guys tomorrow for, I guess, maybe part two. I don't know if it'll be part two, but Saturday is normal video fishing. We're going to use Owama for live bait. I'll make something happen. Alright, everybody. If you haven't used video like so far, give it a like. Because every time you give it a like, 
to see if it's a dolphin. Why wouldn't you want to see if a dolphin? Hit us subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, tight lines, safe fishing, and I'll see you on the water. Thanks for fishing with us today. See you guys tomorrow. Tight lines, safe fishing, and see you on the water. <laughs> All right, everybody. Oh, that sunset is beautiful. Beautiful sunset.